more defensive minded or can he be dragged into a brawl with Brandon Rios. Okay. That's what it's all about. Okay, gentlemen, you both receive your instructions in your dressing room. Okay. Right here is good. Anything that's low. Right here is good. Anything that's low. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times, above all, protect yourselves at all times. Let's go. Get your seatbelts on, folks. This should be a good one. Timothy Bradley and Brandon Rios. I promise you action in this fight. Teddy with his final instructions to his charge, Timothy Bradley. And again, with all that Teddy has taught him, I expect to see Tim beat Tim at some stage in this fight. And that would suit Brandon just great, as he'd love to drag him into a brawl from the get-go. Let's see who takes command in the early going here. Timothy starts out jabbing from the outside, working his way in, goes right to the body. A lot of people think that Bradley can make this a boring fight if he just boxes all night, but he assured us that no, he's still He's still going to be entertaining and it's still going to be fun. He's just going to be smarter in there. So. Well he's keeping good distance right now. Rios is not uh, pressuring him here in the early going. He said he wanted to be right in his face and it's Bradley that opens up fast. Shots to the body back upstairs with the right hand. Bradley looks considerably fast here with his jab and his right hand stop, stop, and he ties down. up yeah, Rios. When they're inside, he ties him up, walks him back on his heels. That's textbook. That's Teddy Atlas stuff. And let's not forget, it's been 10 months since Brandon Rios has been in the ring, so it may take him a little bit to kind of get loose in there because it's been a very long layoff for him. Bradley with a series of left hands and then the uppercut. Rios almost content to this point, approaching the midway point in round number one to give this round away. Now he's on the assault. No, 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 stop, stop, Protects stop, stop, himself no, 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 no. and Tony Weeks has to separate the two fellas. Tim's been known to have some headbutts occur in, in fights. He does come forward with his head sometimes. So I'm interested to see if Teddy helped him kind of keep his head up because he's taken a, a lot of the punishment in those headbutts with the, a lot of the swelling around his eyes early in fights. So far Tim is boxing well. Still controlling things in here. He gets to the outside, works around the side of the body so he doesn't take the punishment on the inside. Seems the crowd's more in favor of Rio, so pretty much anything Rio's does, you're going to hear the crowd roar here tonight. Bradley doing a good job so far. Oh boy, this is good stuff right here. One thing I'm looking forward to, Colonel, as well, is hearing how they communicate in the corner with Teddy. It's a new voice, uh, not without Joel Diaz being there, so. We'll try to listen as much as we can. Bradley, to me, in this round has landed more blows, landed more significant All blows. Look at these body shots in the early going for Tim. This is really good boxing. And Bradley's he, always in such good shape. Sorry, Colonel. No, no, it's okay. I was Go ahead. say the body shots, as you mentioned, is a good game plan for Bradley because it's going to try to slow down the aggressiveness of Rios because, you know, Bradley's always in good shape. He's not going to get tired. No, he's in great shape. But it was a decent body shot there again by Tim. Ah. Tim had a very good first round. Yeah. I got to give Bradley that round. So now let's see what we can hear here. Everything we expected. Sometimes you, I don't need four punches this time. I need two or three and then off to the side. You're going to throw more than two or three. I want to throw on the side. Da mucho golpe. Upper y a cuerpo. A cuerpo, a cuerpo, a cuerpo y upper. Mucho. Tiene que, ok? Ok? Richard saying there, more body punches from you, Brandon. Body, body. And Teddy, I don't know if you heard him, said, don't get greedy, just two or three punches and then get around him. Don't get greedy. That was a hard body shot, that uh, right hand. That was in the, oh, about maybe 10 or 12 seconds from the end of the round. A very good body shot. He's out. Well, Bradley landed and probably did more damage in that round than did go, go. Brandon, so here we go. Let's go, Teddy. Come on, come on. Well, Teddy doesn't want Tim to rush. Just take what's there and get out of there. 
Or hit and don't get hit. There's three punches. And Bradley, you know, did what he's been coached to do. He he came back and out of there, opening up distance, creating distance. Making it difficult for Rios to get in and really pressure him using his footwork this well. A little bit of feint to see if he could move him. But counted that time by Brandon, and that's going to happen. Bradley's jab looks terrific tonight. Brandon's got to keep his hands up more when he comes forward. Stop, stop, stop. Let him up, let him up. Right there. Tony Weeks, the third man in the ring, one of the very best referees in the business from the state of Nevada. But he travels all over the world. I see blood up in the forehead of Brandon. I'm wondering if the heads did come together. They might have. I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I thought I saw a little dark. Come on, hands free. Hold on, Bradley. Hold on, Bradley. I got you. Stop, stop. Let him go. Let him go. I don't see it. No, I don't see it now either. It was just something from the nose. Oh, my hands were. Hard shot. Oh, man. Body shot. Tony to let him go of one side. And that time Brandon caught him with the right hand as he was pulling out. Brady bounces left, bounces right, back to his left, feels the ropes, stops, kind of grabs him, tries to walk him backwards. Stop, 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 let him up. Come on. There we go, watch the With moves like that, Christina, that's what Teddy's trying to teach him so he doesn't get hit and clipped on the inside. Now get in there, throw a couple of punches, and get out of there. Rios is actually having a decent round, but Bradley's oh, winning right. the round. And Tim's actually standing in a little bit more than I thought he would already. I thought he'd still be moving around a little bit more. Oh, oh. Get some body shot in, but he's in the position he wants to be in. When he's fighting him on the inside, he's trying to get one side or the other side of his cheek on the on right up next to the head of Brandon, so Brandon can't hit him with a clean shot. That was a good body shot. Good body shot by Brandon Rios. I got you. Stop, stop. Come up. It's like we could hear up. it. <laughs> like right, right here next to us. And that's good. That, that'll try to help slow down Tim Bradley if, if Rios can do some body work, which is what Robert Garcia called for in the corner in between the last rounds. That's a close round. You gotta, you know, try to take take the position and take the vision away with the left hand from outside the shoulder. See, he just did it that time. Yeah. He told him, "Don't jab and punch." I mean, excuse me, don't jab and step. He's like, step first, then jab. That's it. He, so what he wants him to do is to sneak off Brandon Rios's left shoulder, and you take the vision away. See that right hand just was barely, barely missed, missed. Him. Just barely missed him, and that's exactly what Teddy's looking for him to do. And he did it while he was stepping to the left. He's trying to sneak off that shoulder. And then, and then Bradley, ordinarily in, in other fights, you would have seen him start throwing punches coming off the ropes. But here he's doing this walking him back off the ropes where you can't be hurt. Now let's see if he gets in position again. Fans might not like it, but it's working. <laughs> well, it's, it's very good boxing. Yeah. Smart. He's still trying to get in position to land clean shots. He takes one in the process because Rio's, you know, he's no step over. Let me tell you that. He's a former world champ, too. And one thing I think Bradley needs to be careful of with his head down is Rios has vicious uppercuts. We've seen him in many fights, so he's just got to be careful when he's on the inside to watch that right uppercut. That's why Atlas wants him off the left shoulder and then throw the jab in the right hand behind that. This is round three. It's scheduled for 12. Two good body shots. Rios is complaining of a low blow. You good? You good? Okay. Tony was going to give him some time. Rios looked at him that body shot. Well, 
Boy, Tim's hand speed looks terrific tonight. So far, he hasn't been nailed with the with the big shots, but you know, when I've seen that in Bradley fights, I'm thinking of Provenikov. It happens late in the fight. Same thing with Vargas. Yeah, that's the truth. I mean, Vargas had there was three rounds where he threw that same punch and barely missed, and then finally, once Tim slowed down a beat in that last round, he caught him with it. So. But then that's the fatigue factor. Right now, Tim is out boxing Brandon. Good body shot again. There he is, sneaking off the left shoulder again, getting in position. That's exactly what no, no, Teddy no, no, was stop, stop, uh, stop. teaching him. Throw the left hand, take the vision away from his left eye, and then drop the right hand. So it's very clear for me to see the influence of Teddy Atlas. And the most important thing that I see is Tim is able to execute it. He just had another great right hand. So it is a lot more oh, technical. From the side, side to side. Going to throw the left hook, be in the side. This is round four. The Colonel Bob Chardonnay with Christina Poncha and her special color, and that she spends so much time with the fighters. It's uh, great to have her with me. Our principal's in there for the. WBO welterweight championship of the world Timothy Bradley the defending champion in the black and orange and in the white trunks with the multicolor trim Brandon Rios this is round number four in terms of boxing what I've seen so far the hand speed of Tim the willingness to engage either inside or outside of Tim Bradley Rios trying to get inside and make it a war. That's a typical Rio shot, banging him on the inside like that. Nice uppercut by Tim, but it didn't quite catch the jaw. That's a good body shot for Rios, but then there goes Tim right back, right? And Tim trying to get in position, get his angles to throw his left hook. Rios is what you see is what you get. He just keeps coming forward. He's here to brawl. I'd like to see Brandon push the action a little bit more. I think Bradley's work rate has been higher, but the pressure, pressure, pressure is more Brandon's game. And he's being more reactive than proactive. Well, he caught Tim with a decent left hook that time, and you're right, if he could pick it up a little bit more. But Tim is moving differently. I mean, Tim, when you get him up against the ropes, he's grabbing, walking him back like this. He's doing things that mm -hmm. we haven't seen Tim do before, so therefore Rios, there's nothing he's going to do to prepare for the way Tim's fighting this fight. There he was in perfect position to throw the left hook. That time he was in front of him when he threw the left hook. It bounced off the head. Brandon said, okay, I got smiles. you, man. I got <laughs> I mean, you. He's got a granite chin, that's for sure, but you know sometimes, Colonel, when these fighters smile at one of those licks. They yeah. got him. That's right. The smile is sometimes saying, yeah, you got me with a good one. And of course, we who are watching are saying, well, he's trying to tell him it didn't hurt him. Fighters know. This is hard stuff on the inside. Hard hooks. It's Tim with some nice dipsy doodle move around. Step around. We saw the Lomachenko in the last fight with great footwork. And Tim using some good footwork in here. Nothing to the way. Oh, what a great move Beautiful. that was. And that's exactly what Teddy wants to come around to the side of him, get the angle, then throw your right hand you, or your left you. hook. Don't be in front of him. I think he's There's moving, but he's still throwing punches. But that's the, so far, I think Teddy's pretty happy with what he's seeing. In that uh, Timothy has won the first four rounds unofficially. And by the way, the official judges are Adelaide Bird, Glenn Fellman, and Glenn Trowbridge. Three excellent judges. Fellman from Connecticut, the other two are Nevada State Athletic Commission judges. This is round five in the scheduled 10 rounder for the WBO Welterweight Championship of the World. Bradley, let's see how he gets out of that corner, and he does. And he muscles Rios in there. Stop, stop, stop. 
Bradley's positioning is terrific. Uh, I mean, against a guy that's as aggressive as Rios, this is terrific stuff. He caught uh, Rios with a real good shot there for the first time. I see Rios loosen up in the knees. He felt that power shot with the right hand. Interesting to see too because Rios has such a good chin and you know Tim's not known for his knockouts of his 34 fights he says 12 knockouts. That's true uh, and he hasn't knocked anybody out in his last no. what did I say 13 fights. A really long but time. but uh, the fact of the matter is Tim has hit him with some clean shots many many more clean shots than Bradley has hit Tim with. And you know that's just going to wear him down. I don't care how tough you are you can't take these clean shots and when Tim does stop people it's by accumulation of punches and he's getting an awful lot into his left hook because of his positioning. Look at that nice move. Maria shakes his head no almost sticks his tongue out at him. But Tim's not going to be dragged into a brawl. He does exactly what he's been coached to do. Grabs him and tries to walk him back. Creates his distance and now resets. Meanwhile, Rios, the challenger, plods forward and does what he does best. But, you know, Christina, you mentioned, I think, the last round. You know, he's just not throwing enough punches. It seems like he's throwing as much as he can, but he really isn't. Not, not the work rate that Tim Bradley has. And this is a scheduled 12 round fight for this championship. Well, that was a problem that Rios had against Pacquiao. Or really, with a lot of the fighters that are that can box and from angles and move, is that if you're not standing in front of him, he doesn't hit you as much because he can't. <laughs> and that's why Tim's new trainer, you know, said if you move and you get your angles, it's going to open up. Remember, said you don't have to be first; you can be ah. second, but make sure you're already a cerebral fighter. And maybe you know, late in in fights when he when he was gassed, he. You know, because he is a warrior, he would get hit with a lot of heavy shots. And, and like Teddy said yesterday when he talked to him, you know, life changing, career changing, fight ending, uh, life threatening uh, punches. And that's what boxing is all about. And, and that is what he wants Tim to avoid. And so far, he's been able to avoid it pretty well against Brandon Rios. I mean, Rios caught him, what, about maybe three times? And nothing really, really heavy. The heaviest blow was landed in the last round when I thought that uh, I, won't, I don't want to use the word staggered but he stunned Brandon Rios with a solid right hand. The heads are bouncing off each other in there. So the big thing is Bradley tough enough to stand up against a street brawler like Rios. Yeah. Certainly is. Rios trying to catch up with him and it's frustrating for Brandon right now. Got a hold of that arm on the inside finally gets it free. But Bradley's still in position where he's not going to get hit with anything real serious. And he lands his left hook on the way out. Now look at that. Well, and one of the things that Brandon Rios was saying was that I don't know if he can handle my pressure for 12 rounds, but I haven't seen much of that pressure. I feel like Tim's been the one pushing. Well, the Tim, more. Tim is the ring general. Yep. He's dictating when they engage, and that's and, and, and I, you know, I, I don't want to just keep going back to Teddy because this guy has the fight, but it is the storyline of this fight with the new trainer this late in his career, a guy that's what five-time world champion. Correct. You know, I mean, and he's fighting brilliantly tonight. But the scary thing is Brandon does have the ability to change the fight with one punch. Yes he does. And we saw Tim get staggered uh, in fights that you know against Vargas when I thought he had Vargas it was late and I don't think that when Pat Russell stopped the uh, when he heard the clapper and stopped the fight I don't think it would have made any difference at that time because Tim was uh, you know his clear faculties. But uh, by the same token, I mean, this is really brilliant boxing for him against a guy that can't seem to put the pressure on him that he, he wants to, that he'd like to. Yeah, he needs to just let his hands go more. And I know it's, I keep saying that over and over, but really, that's, that's the only thing that he can do. 
because he's not going to outbox him to a decision, you know, Brandon Rios is. So the only way that, that he's going to be able to get in there and win a fight is, is landing a punch. And if he doesn't throw them, he can't land them. Well, he's not throwing enough of them. That's who knows this kid so well. Expressing his disappoint at disappointment at the way that his uh, fighter Rios is performing. And right away, Tim Bradley comes out and lands a combination of punches to the body of Brandon. I don't know what that was all about. He, he hit him a little bit low, so Tim was saying, "You all right?" Like he was giving him a second, even though Tony Weeks didn't didn't call a pause. Uh, he thought maybe he caught him a little bit low with that opening shot. But either way, to your point, Robert's saying this is not what we trained for. This is not this is not how we trained. Show me something, Brandon. This is how uh, Bradley trained, uh, and he's executing his fight plan to a T to this point. He hasn't been hit with any really clean, hard shots. That was a nice stiff jab that time by Rios. There's another time, Christina, when we say, well, he hasn't been hit with anything, bang, as soon as we get the word hey. out, he gets nailed on the chin with a nice stiff jab. <laughs> I wish I could predict other things that way. Tim Bradley, of course, in the black trunks with the orange trim. White trunks, Mexican color flag down the right side of Rios's uh, trunks. Red, white, and green. Now the they were cheering for Rios earlier. Now they're going Bradley, Bradley. <laughs> so you have a few good rounds, and you can change the crowd in your favor in Ari. Either that, or the Rios fans know that uh, their guy is down big time, and they're concerned. Hand speed at Tim. Three left hooks in a row, and the straight right hand. He comes to the uppercut, catches the second one. I mean, all the head movement, the body movement, and and all those punches and staying busy. Has Brandon Rios? Have you recalled the jab that he's thrown in this fight? I mean, he's not doing anything off the jab. Not even trying to to work up that work rate. I mean, with the exception of maybe two or three times, Bradley's getting off first all the time. I mean, his hand speed looks exceptional because, you know, Brandon's throwing pot shots and there's a lot of his punches are wide and wild and they don't look as fast. I mean, that jab, he just kind of threw his hand out and walked up into Tim. Even on the inside, he was in the position to throw the left hook. Bradley, you just almost sense that Bradley's thinking in there. Get clipped that time as he pulled out. When he decides to pull out, he's got to pull out quicker. But that's the concentration that Teddy is trying to teach him. Concentrate fully for the full three minutes of the round. And when you get to this stage of a fight in the seventh round and there's a lull, sometimes you drop concentration, especially in the last minute of the round, which that was. But in no way did Rios win that round. Chopping right hand by Tim at the belt. Look at look at the difference, difference in the eyes, folks, of the two fighters and Christina. I mean, Bradley's got a, a look, a menacing look on his face that, uh, and and Brand is like gazing off into the stars. Bradley's back out. But see all the cheering that uh, they did in trying to juice up Rios. I mean, it hasn't juiced him up. It hasn't pumped him up any. He looks flat-footed out there. Bradley is is totally concentrating. He's following his fight plan. It's going well for him. He knows it. Well, I think the thing that when we talked about Rio still having a chance to change the fight with one shot, but it's because he sets up that stop, one stop shot but th by the accumulation of punches that he usually delivers throughout leading up to that shot. It's not just a one punch and you're out. It's it's an accumulation, and he's not even built up to that point. Well, he hasn't hurt Bradley at all. With, with, with I mean, I'm trying to think of any more than three or four punches that he's landed with anything on them tonight. And, and Bradley just continues to pop him and pepper him with what, seemingly whatever he wants to. You know, there's a question. You know, he had to lose weight. You know, it was only. Two tenths of a pound that he had to lose to get on the scale, but what did he have to lose to get down? Because something's 
something's off on Rios tonight. I think this isn't the guy that fought Alvarado. It's it's you know Alvarado. <laughs> Alvarado wasn't himself either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. But yeah, it's not the point too. It was what it took to get to 47, and I can guarantee he was 30, 40 pounds heavier than that during the 10 months. So it's the layoff, it's the inactivity, it's the way he balloons up in weight. It's tough. And then you're in it with a superior uh, athlete in terms of straight athleticism in, in Timothy Bradley. Well, Tim is like, you know, out of the Bernard Hopkins and Roy Jones Jr. These guys don't balloon up in between fights. They, you know, they put on a few pounds, but not like Brandon. And, the, and for people that thought that Tim was just going to run all night, um, which was something that people were concerned about. He, he hasn't really done that at all. He's not been the at one all. putting the pressure in. It's not like Brandon has had to stop him. He's been there. No, he's forcing the fight. I mean, uh, Bradley is the ring general here. He's dictating when they engage. And that's the, how he trained for this fight. And you can tell Robert's frustrated in the corner. Totally frustrated because of the inability of Rios to put any pressure whatsoever on Tim Bradley. Brandon's you know look at his mouth is open he's gassed he's taking shots in the nose of the forehead nobody's been down I'm going, I'm going. one time three or four rounds ago I thought that uh, you know uh, Rios did get stung not staggered but just stung and that ah! and right at the bell Brandon cut loose with a shot that luckily for Brandon it sailed over his head. Don't be in front of him and don't drop your hands. And this is where Teddy's got to demand concentration for Tim because you know there is a fatigue factor now. His work rate has been extremely high. And Rios is at the stage if he has any intention of winning this fight, he's got to just you know get his ears back and, and let it go and just try to make this a pier six brawl and force Tim into preventing him from making it a brawl. Bradley continues to move well. Gets in position, and this is frustrating for Brandon right, Rios because he wants to engage on the inside now. But again, folks, as you watch this fight, it's Bradley that's dictating exactly what goes on. It's Tony saying no hold, holding. He Tim eventually pushes him off, and then he works on his position, goes with the right hand lead. All his nice movement getting out of there, not setting up in front. Now he's off that shoulder where Atlas wants him to be. Well, I got to say that uh, Tim is, is executing the game plan perfectly. But he can't have any lapses at all because you folks heard Christina say, you know, one punch from Rios can drop you. My hands are all, all. Stop, But stop, does stop, he stop, have enough? Stop. Yeah, or at least change the fight. But I, don't, I just don't know. It doesn't look like it. Now look at uh, when we have this shot here. Look at the heels of of Rios right down the canvas. Tim still up on his toes. Yeah, Brandon does at times have the tendency to be flat-footed and a little wide, which was something that Tim used to. He used to be real wide too um, with his stance, and I think that was something that Teddy mentioned they worked on. And you can see an improvement, many improvements. All the all the all. Yeah, I mean, I've seen uh, Tim Bradley in a lot of terrific fights. Provednikov comes to all mind right because I picture that it was such a war. But in this I particular stop, stop, fight, he's totally running. controlling it and he's not getting hit. And that's how you extend in a career. I mean, these are hard punches that Tim's sitting down on. And again, Tim's not a one punch knockout artist, but this accumulation of punches is taking a toll on Bradley, I assure you. Oh! oh! There it was, a body shot. Three. It's up to four, four and five, five six, and six seven, and seven. Does he want eight, any more? Eight nine, and nine. He finally gets up at Brandon. nine. All right, I'll give you a chance. All That's right? only the second time that he's ever been dropped. Once way early on in his career. And again, we're talking about accumulation of punches. He's ready to go again. Bradley's all over him. And that's going to be it. It's all over. Timothy Bradley stops. Brandon Rios in the ninth round wow. to retain the WBO wow. welterweight championship wow. of the world. Timothy Bradley has done it. A brilliant performance throughout the course of the evening winding up and we had just talked about the accumulation of punches 
And then, of course, is Monica Bradley, <laughs> manager, wife, mother, yeah, yeah. and proud companion right now of Tim Bradley. Wow, how long since the knockout, Colonel? Well, uh, let me see here on my notes. I've got Years. down here. Yeah, uh, he hadn't had a knockout. This is the first knockdown. Let's see the body shot. And that one caught him up on the chin, too. It was a body shot first, and then he caught him on the chin as he was moving out. Watch this. Body shot. Body shot. Yeah, it was the body shot. So it was the body shot that put him down. But to this point, it was accumulation, and here's the beginning of the end now. About four or five punches again, and that's it. He goes down on his knees, and Tony's seen enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. He just beats him into submission, and that's it. It wasn't meant to be for the rough, tough Brandon Rios, and I thought it was a pretty performance by Timothy Bradley. Ninth round knockout victory. It'll be scored as a TKO, but for all practical purposes, he knocked out Brandon Rios. Wonderful fight for Tim, and he's a different fighter. In that fight, he didn't take any punishment, and he went on to be the guy that is a punisher. No, thank you for the opportunity. No, thank you for the opportunity. All right, for sure, man. Unfortunately, I failed, but thank you for the Don't worry about it, man. You'll be back in strong. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. Much respect to your team. Hey, guys. Hey, much respect to your team. Much respect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Michael Buffer will make it official. And here we go to Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, courtesy of Win Las Vegas, the official time, two minutes, 49 seconds of round number nine. The fight comes to an end. The winner by knockout victory and still the two-time WBO welterweight champion of the world, Timothy Desert Storm Bradley. Young Master's back. Yeah, baby. Thank you, thank you.